It's been 36 days when in an unfortunate and tragic incident, UAE-based Gulf Navigation-owned Panamanian flagged 450-feet cargo marine vessel Gulf Livestock 1 sank with 5,867 cattle and 43 crew capsized near Amami Oshima Island in southwestern Japan after Category 4 storm Typhoon Maysak battered the region with winds up to 160 km per hour. The prayers and hopes of family members of 40 crew from Australia, New Zealand and the Philippines have largely remained unanswered so far. But a latest report by Australian media House 9 News senior journalist Ms Kate Kakir on October 8, 2020 said that a privately funded search team led by family and friends of missing Australian Mr William Main Prize has claimed to have found possible signs of life on uninhabited Ontokoro Islands, a chain of 12 small islands off Japan's coast. Of the 12 islands, only 7 are inhabited with an estimated population ranging from 40 to a total of 600 people across the entire archipelago. A search spokesman and close friend of Mr. Main Prize, Mr. Harry Morrison told 9.com.au that we have been privately funding a search and rescue for two and a half weeks and we have narrowed it down into an area. We're finding a lot of debris from the boat. We've found two dead cattle on an island. We've found parts of a life raft. We've found life rings, we've found life jackets. There's one island, basically we have found the roof of a life raft on an island and it looks to be that plastic covering of the life raft was taken off. When we found this life raft, we contacted Japanese coast guards and told them and got no response for them. Communication with the Japanese coast guard has been very limited. A crowdfunding page Save the 40 of Gulf Livestock 1 has so far raised more than 116,000 Australian dollars to be put towards private searches of islands. The search group has spent 50,000 Australian dollars of donated money on the fixed wing flights and 75,000 Australian dollars on the helicopter flyover. The expenses have dwindled to just 4,000 Australian dollars. International Rescue Instructors Association President Ms. Shauna Ladio told 9.com.au I was contacted to assist with the hope of SAR on behalf of an Australian family member and we decided to work as a collaborative effort on behalf of all the families. The main aim of the search is to support the families remotely and provide search and rescue expertise through a company's bases in Japan and Taiwan. We are using your satellite imagery. Nobody has traveled to Japan because of COVID quarantines. So, this is all done through public assistance and our companies or others' friends in the respective countries. Our company in Taiwan has been conducted searches for debris along their shores in the field. In the hours and days following the sinking, Japan's Coast Guard rescued three survivors, one tragically died. 38 are yet to be found after the official search operation by Japanese Coast Guards was scaled back to regular patrols on September 10. For the families of the 36 missing Filipinos, the disaster has significant consequences back home. It remains unclear if the ship's owner, Gulf Navigation Holdings, plans to provide financial assistance to the families of the missing sailors. The Philippines Overseas Worker Welfare Administration has given financial assistance to the two surviving Filipino crew amounting to 100,000 pesos, 2,914 US dollars, each. The Australian and New Zealand governments have both offered assistance to Japan in the search, however Japan was yet to accept the offer. In addition, CNN reported that on September 24, China, South Korea and Taiwan have agreed to the Philippines' request to assist with the search but with no success so far. The Gulf Livestock once started its trading career as a 630-tail container ship in 2002 before being converted to carry animals 10 years later. The sunken ship had a checkered past. The ship had left Napier Port in New Zealand on the 14th of August loaded with 5,867 cattle and 43 crew, 39 from the Philippines, 2 from Australia and 2 from New Zealand. It was headed to the port of Jingden in Tangshan in China, with the journey expected to take 17 days. The ship was technically managed and crewed by Germany's Mark Consult Schifffahrt GmbH, while the commercial manager is Jordan-based Ajazi and Gosha Company. Thank you.